Ah, there I am. Once again. Uh, that can go away. Hello, and welcome to Champions of Breakfast. Um, never played this game, but I've... I've enjoyed Heartbound so far, so I thought I'd play something uh, by the same creator, uh, Pirate Software. Um, and in this game, I am Breakfast. Or, or I will be the champion of Breakfast. Um, WASD, Fire and Super, okay. So, standard bullet hell from what I could pick up on it. Um, not really sure how to make commentary though. Um, level 1 pretty easy so far. But, uh, yeah, kind of, uh, Right up there with my sense of humor, I suppose. It's, um... Ah. That's bad. Red is bad. It's it's breakfast. What can you expect? It's like a first boss fight. That's not good. Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do here. It looks like I've already taken quite a bit of damage. And I'm not really seeing any health bar on the boss. It's, oh, I see. Are achievements showing up? Can't really tell. I could move myself a little bit. Hmm, then I'm kind of just in the way, aren't I? Yeah, so I think he had a, a shield up. Was our issue there. That's not breakfast. Hmm. <laughs> Toaster in the bathroom. So something interesting that I heard about this game is that the achievements actually serve as a benchmark for progress in the game. Um, like when you first launch the game, you get like a whole bunch of uh, Steam achievements, like I think it's like five or six or so, just right off the bat. And apparently those actually serve um, as an anti-piracy feature. Um, there we go, we just got three more achievements. Um, two more on top of that even. So I think this game has over... I want to say over 200 achievements. And every single one serves as both a save state of the game as well as actual proof of purchase through Steam. So I find that pretty interesting actually. I haven't heard of many games, if any, really, uh, implementing that feature before. I mean, not that I think that piracy is like a huge concern for them for this game, it's... I think it's like a four dollar game, but... You know, every cent counts, really. Okay, so it looks like the little emojis that the bosses make are an indicator of help. Do I get all three? Unlocked cherry. Okay, so I can only pick up one of those three. Um, not sure what the apple does. 
Oh, um, I think my power up. Is... Nope, power up is the same. Nothing's changed there. I gotta take care of those guys because they have an area of effect. A much easier. Um, I find it much easier dodging the actual bullets than um, the area of effect damage. Probably want to prioritize those over anything else. Another achievement, obtain a kill streak of at least a hundred. Neat. Okay, so the toolbox, it seems like, um, it's impenetrable. Um, so I'm guessing I have to just keep on taking out the minions. I feel like I can uh, actually do some damage to this thing. Okay, I. Wolf. Cool. Ooh, another achievement. Discovered. Discovered from boss kills. Okay. Ooh, some burnt toast. Oh, that damage too. Unless I took another damage somewhere that I just wasn't paying attention to. Ooh. This is gonna get fast, isn't it? I guess not. Um, unlock pickle and daft chunk. Well, I already have one apple, so I'm not sure if stacking up does much. I guess I'll do pickles. I'm not sure what any of this does. I'm glowing green. Oh, I leave pickle slices around. Interesting. Ooh, that's not good. I'm not i quite sure what the pickle slices do. I would imagine they act as landmines. But there doesn't seem to be anything indicating that they're actually working yet. So far so good though. Shit. Another hit. Is that beer? Ooh. Okay, so that just clears the map basically. And that refreshes so fast too. Bad timing. Okay, 
Okay, so a couple landmines here. Not great. Ah, really not good. These projectiles seem to be a lot more difficult to destroy than um, previous ones. Definitely taking a couple of extra hits. Oh, oh, stay away! Ah, stay away. Okay, I mean, first run, not terrible. Accuracy 45%. Um, well, not the best either, right? But now we know exactly what's going on, so I think we should be able to breeze through at least the first couple of bosses fairly quickly here. Just need a. Uh... Keep on getting these enemies down. Um... Ah. There we go. Easy peasy. Keep on. Oh, did I not pick that up? Didn't know that would just go away. I thought I had uh, a little bit of a respite there. Easy boss. Um, never had the mushroom, never had any of those before, I suppose. Is the mushrooms? I see mushrooms appearing on the floor, but I can't seem to make out any rhyme or reason for why they're appearing here. It seems to be where enemies spawn, but that doesn't seem to be a hundred percent correct. I'm not even sure if this the super attack is better than what I had before. Um, like I can't tell if it's just um, a random super, you know, or if it's like actually 
an improvement every time, right? Does that make sense? Because I know in, uh, like, some bullet hells, it's like, oh, yeah, you can get, a uh, this power up over this one, but it's like, the new one is actually a downgrade from what you currently have. I mean, all about, like, play styles, right? Ah, uh, wasted that one. Okay, get the rotten food out of here. Oop, get the corner. Ooh. That really wasn't good. That hit me like three times. Gravy. That's mushroom gravy. Okay, okay, so that's actually an improvement. Um, does that seem to be affecting the bullets that I fire now? Still not sure what the mushrooms do. I kind of assume it's like a landmine, but... Who's to say, really? Yeah, the boss encounters seem to be completely random right now, because... What is this? Ooh, okay. Because that fridge was definitely a lot harder than that current boss. Or maybe it was like a final boss, so... There seems to be... What is that? I already lost count. Two or three minor bosses before the big bad. So this is two. Okay, just stay in opening. Aim with your peripherals. There we go. Um, chicken. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, bringing technology to a breakfast. That's not good. Can I take out both of them? Individually, or do I need to take them both? Okay, that works, I guess. What are you? Interesting, okay. I think I like the previous power up more. Yeah. 
mean, it seems to refill awfully fast, though. I can't really complain here. Risky, risky. Yeah, it doesn't have a shield up. I guess that works too. Um, put in, I guess. Ooh, Morel mushrooms. Those things. Hmm. Were that two hits I just took? I can't even tell what's going on myself. I'm the one playing. Yeah, like, I, I just went back to, um, waffles, but I don't think the waffles are in an upgrade. Um, bad choice, I suppose, but, you know, at least, at least the waffles seem to be more, um, directional based, rather than just, uh, scattered. What a bad time to waste that. Okay, so another one of these where I have to um, focus on the minions instead. Oh, cool. Um, seems to be another uh, weapon um, beam. Wow, there's so much going on. Where's the white stuff coming from? Oh, that just slows me down. So, red bad, white, not great, but not the worst. If that makes sense, I think that, that makes sense. You get it. You know. You know. There seems to be... What are these? Are these... I would imagine the spice rack over here seems to be permanent power-ups, but I guess... Spice rack, yeah. Enemies may release damaging vanilla blossoms on death. Plus 2% score. 
Interesting. So these are like uh, Halo skulls. Enemies may fire a damaging bay leaf on attack. Damaging pepper on death. Superfoods take longer to recharge. Bosses now have an enrage timer. Enemies may fire a damaging spoon on attack. Enemies deal additional damage. Enemies may drop damaging onion slices on death. The longer you take, the more damage they deal. Interesting. Enemy health increased. Butter drops less frequently. Using the superfood damages you. Interesting. Your starting health is reduced by one. All healing received is significantly reduced. Enemies may fire a damaging pepper on attack. Melee enemies move faster. What if I just... What if I... What if I just... Yeah. Yeah, why not? There's the toaster. You know, the extra bullets on death doesn't seem to be all that bad. Um, I say as I get hit by two onions. Oh, that damages me. Fuck. Yeah, this run is not looking good already. Ooh, egg. I'm not even sure what got me there. So I got 20,000... Um, score there. So that's not not great, but let's turn all this off. Okay, so teapot. Utilities close range abilities cut down foes. Utilizes. So... I think I want this for my playstyle, right? Yeah. Oh, that's that's real close range. That's really not a whole lot of health either. Just too close range. 
I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that eventually, right? But... Gigantic, unstoppable cannonballs. Destroying many enemies at once sounds preferable, really. Ooh. I see. I think this is the guy right here. Such little health, though. this guy again. So many achievements. Wait, that's a different... That's a different power. Ooh, okay. Um, golden apple, I guess. Making quick work of them, huh? Yeah, I like my current power up though. Yeah, the orange slices are so overpowered for bosses like this, though. I can just- oh. I say as I take damage. If I can just keep them away, um, I think I'm set. I like staying in a safe space. That should be the last. Yep. Um, haven't done this one yet. 
Ooh, okay, so that's like exploding damage now. Or not exploding, it's not an area of effect, it's um... Like a shotgun blast? So that being said, I kind of think that the golden apple probably just increases uh, damage power. Unless, of course, I'm shooting golden apples right now. Um, that could be the... I had more health. Ugh. This game is uh, strangely addicting. Quick work. Yeah, wow, that does uh, a radically different attack for each character you play as. Pretty cool. Like, it would have been easy enough just to have, like, the same attacks for the same power-ups. But they really did customize it. a waste. At least these guys are pretty easy. Um, well, for the most part. Um, unlike the, uh, unlike the fridge battle where the rotting food just like leaves a permanent, um, goose spot. Egg was okay, um, I'll do egg. Yeah, egg good, egg damage. It would be nice if um, I could get like a permanent health upgrade here. Like I keep on running into um, minor healing, but I haven't really run across any um, permanent HP up yet. I mean I might have, but um, power-ups don't really tell you what they are. This seems to be kind of a luck of the draw thing. Yeah, sure. Ah. This might be it. I'm just running into too much stuff.
This can't take any damage. Ah. Destroyed one thousand enemies in the garage, though. The blender. Eat bullets for breakfast. Yeah, I do. Um, mostly because I can't dodge very well. What does that mean? Oh, I see. I see. Oh, but I only have two health and I just wasted one. What did that do? Did I just suck up? I did. I ate the bullets for breakfast, of course. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so same thing, it just sucks up all the bullets on the screen and redirects them in some way. Does the food count as bullets? Do the splotch marks on the ground count as bullets? They do! Oh ho ho! Yeah, I found a new favorite weapon here. It's not directional though. It's. Kind of all around me, which might be an issue. Um, haven't done nothing yet. Or have I? I don't know. That's kind of overpowered. Ooh, ooh, don't like that. Zebo, okay.
that Vegemite? It's kind of nice that uh, the waves seem fairly predictable. Um, as far as like uh, spawns go, right? So it's like entire row of enemies. Like, oh yeah, that's something's gonna be flying at you. Um, groups of two, yeah, one paint can, one um, spray can, right? cans are really the worst though because they don't need to be accurate to really mess up your day they just need to be a slight inconvenience to you I should have just used my power up. I got... I got another game in me. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep my chili pepper um, secondary for a little while here. Oh, yep, and then I waste it. Twice, I wasted it twice. That one doesn't count. Okay. Damaging vanilla blossoms on death. Do that. The death attack. Death. Attack. Um, death. Yeah. 49% to score doesn't sound too bad. I just can't take damage. As I take damage.
and that seems to do it um yeah really fun game bullet hells really aren't my thing um i'm not really sure what are my thing i suppose uh roguelikes um are typically my go-to uh well thank you all so much for watching um if you enjoyed this i do have a youtube channel um same name zipa nation um go check that out uh, if you are watching on youtube go check out my twitch channel you can get all the content there first and who knows maybe some of it might be a little bit different than what you're seeing on the other platform all right thank you all so much for watching and you have a good one